Okay, for the Polycom IP335 telephone, uh, the smaller of the two boxes, it's going to be a very similar process. We're going to probably toss the paperwork, take the phone out of the bag, the handset again is up underneath here, sort of little foam packaging, take that out, and underneath here are all the cables. We'll fast forward past this. Go ahead and open everything up here so you can see it. Uh, we'll start with the power supply. It's in a separate box, about that size. It has two pieces, this part and the power cord. We'll see the three prong unit. Plugs into that. That end plugs into the wall of the power strip. And the other end we'll plug into the 24 volt DC on the leftmost jack on the back of the telephone. And we have the curly handset cord. That will plug into the rightmost jack on the handset, on the telephone rather. Then you're going to need to locate the network cable on the back of your computer, standard HP at most branch offices. It's typically around the uh, audio jacks and above the USB, typically blue or black. It has a tab on it, so it doesn't come out automatically. Do please push on that until it slides out very easily. That cord will then go into the LAN cable, the LAN port on the back of the phone. It says LAN, has a network symbol on it. And make sure you put it in the right direction and put it in until it clicks into place. You'll take your uh, network cable that came with it and plug one end into the PC jack, the only one left here, uh, on the back of the telephone until it snaps. And plug the other end of that one back into the network cable that you took out of your computer. For those of you that, uh, some of you may have a cable, an extra cable inside your phone box rather, that is the headset cable. That headset jack is located up here near the top. Just like all the rest of them. Snaps into place like that. Uh, take note of the base of the telephone. It has a tab that's going to go into the telephone and then these will snap into place. So make sure all your cords are up out of the way. Put the tab here into this slot on the bottom of the telephone. Hopefully you can see that like that. And then push it. Oh. Easier said than done. Make sure all the cords are where they need to be, and just snap that into place by pushing upward. Take your handset cord, the other end, plug that into the handset. It is a sideways little uh, jack there. It clicks into place. Voila, you have your telephone. For those at offices that do have Avaya phones already, uh, you will not have this extra box, you will not need the power supply. You're going to need to take your Avaya phone and look at the top of it, and faintly at the top there are two different symbols. Uh, this one here is supposed to be a PC, it's a box with a line under it, and this one is a square with a little tab on it that's supposed to indicate the wall plate. So we're going to unplug the one from the wall plate. And this will go into the LAN jack on the back of the phone. If I correctly. And the one from the PC port will, of course, go into the PC port here. Uh, for those of you that do have Avaya phones, um, you can do this ahead of time, but do note that you're not going to have any connectivity. It won't ring like this one, like your Avaya phone will, um, until we make the full switch. You're welcome to plug it in and play with it when, you know, when you're not taking calls, uh, but do know that once you unplug your Avaya, you will not be taking calls until we get this one set up.